My name is Eugenie Turner. I'm French Canadian. I was born in a small village just outside of Montreal, and I learned English there. And uh, in 1942, uh, the war had been going on for about three years already, and uh, I decided to join the Air Force. I was 19 years old. Uh, I was a girl, and I felt I was sorry that I wasn't a boy because I wanted so much to join a, the Air Force and fly. And I couldn't do that, but I thought, well, I can do the second best thing and work <coughs> behind the troops, behind the, the air crews and that. And, and uh, I took my basic training in Rockcliffe. It's a town just next to Ottawa, which is the capital city of our country, and took a course in uh, telecommunication and was posted in Gander Bay, Newfoundland. <coughs> then I was there 11 months and came back to Montreal. And two months later, I was sent overseas where I served with number six group bomber command, which is a Canadian command. And uh, my duties there were to receive and uh, de decipher the messages, the weather program and the uh, instructions for briefing the air crews to go on raids and operations. I also had to send a list to headquarters of all the crews going on operations, like their serial numbers, rank, name, and never anyone over 25 years old. And when they came back, I had to send a list of casualties that didn't come back, never knowing whether they had been killed or just taken prisoners. I did spend a month in London where we were bombed every single night. I never spent a whole night in my bed. And, uh, but uh, I did meet my husband over there. He was a young man from Winnipeg, Manitoba. And we were married in York, in England. And uh, as a matter of fact, we were bombed on our wedding night. <laughs> so it was quite a, a beginning. Yes, yes. Afterwards, <clears throat> you think back, we were all expendable. And so there, that's the way it was. Yeah. I was starting to think about, you know, what is freedom? And uh, it basically, um, the right to live as you wish, to do things, you, anything you want to do, travel, and uh, even pay taxes. <laughs> so, so, uh, uh, so, but you really uh, feel that you really can't understand freedom till you lose it. And the moment the German tanks crossed your border in uh, World War II, you lost your freedom and all the horror that went with it. So what you have to do is get the young people to talk to the people who are actually living and really understand how bad it was with the German. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> and basically, uh, you lost all your rights, and uh, you consequently, uh, um, the children have to pick up and understand it and realize they have to, freedom isn't free, you've got to work on it. And uh, <clears throat> so you never get something for nothing in this world. Uh, you have to earn your freedom and and protect it. So basically, carry the banner of freedom, carry it high, and never take anything for granted.